My name is Paolo Gendoso, and I am a concept artist working for DNXR department. I prepared a short video showing my workflow when I'm tasked with visualizing a moment from a script. Living in London, I frequently pass by Trafalgar Square, where four massive bronze lions guard the Nelson Column. I always thought it would be quite cinematic if they would come to life. So here is my concept. It is three in the morning. A warlock, which could be the bad guy in the movie, is standing at the base of the Nelson Column. A police team arrives. He uses magic to animate the lion statues. The SWAT team panics. It is a bloodbath. So, how do we visualize that? The first step is always gathering references. The better and more accurate pictures you can find, the easier your job will be. I choose Trafalgar Square because I could go there and take ton of photos. I was looking for camera angles and information about lighting, cut shadows and materials. Back home, I decided that I want to use a wide lens to show as much of the action as possible. So I used Photoshop Automate Photo Merge to stitch together two images into one. After this, I started blocking the painting. I usually prefer starting in color immediately and check the reading of the values as I go on. I wanted to remain faithful to the layout of the square, so I arranged my composition and my perspective grid accordingly. Third step is rendering. I began with the background elements moving progressively toward the focus of the action. I used my photos as reference only, and I kept them small as a way to filter the visual noise and take away only the essence of the form. When I arrived at the lions, I realized that to make them feel integrated in the scene, the photos were not enough. The statues are reflective objects, and the look of reflections depends both from the environment and the camera position. For this reason, I decided to create my own references in 3D. I downloaded Meshroom, which is a free and easy photogrammetry software. I plugged in all my photo references, and it quickly created a rudimentary 3D model of the monument, which I used in Maya to set up a small set with a camera view very close to the one I choose. I then found a free lion rig online, quickly posed it four times, and gave my statues a quick pass in ZBrush to add the sculpted name. For the humans, Maya now comes in with some textured human scans and rigs, which are very useful in cases like these. I placed some mesh lights in the right spots, modeled the street lamps and pillars, applied a couple of substances with triplanar projections, rendering Arnold overnight, and I had my final reference picture to finish the painting. As a final change to the narrative, I added two extra warlocks to the scene near the main one, clustering their shapes together to make it easier to read. After this, it was all pretty straightforward. Lot of painting and making sure to soften and lose my edges in the right places to make the result feel more natural. Thanks for watching.